Tonight we're capturing the Earth's rotation and the Milky Way out here in beautiful Utah. So I wanted to show you exactly what settings I'm going to use, the gear that I'm using, and so much more. Stay tuned. I love Milky Way time lapses because it's an easy way to kind of leave your camera in one spot and then go off and take maybe more Milky Way photos, but it's also a more exciting way to spice up your otherwise still photos. And if you saw our Milky Way photography video, which was the one just before this, definitely check that out if you haven't already. We dove even deeper into preparation and tips for getting ready to take a Milky Way photo. And now we'll jump more into time-lapse settings and preparation for time lapses because it's a little bit different and you know clouds are moving in sometimes so that's something you really have to consider the weather is changing and if the lighting is changing or the light pollution is changing which is something you want to be very aware of that's going to show up in your final time lapse so it's a little bit different when it comes to changing motion from your still photography from our last video but it's all the more exciting let's talk about some gear for time lapsing i'm using the canon eos r8 a lot of Canon cameras, or most of Canon cameras, are fantastic because they have built-in intervalometers, which just means that I could do pretty much all of the interval photography within the camera instead of using an external intervalometer. However, if your camera doesn't have that feature, it's real simple to just hook up an external intervalometer and be able to capture the same sort of intervals. I also have a tripod. This is, of course, crucial for taking those long exposures. And I have a Atomos Ninja on top here, that's not entirely necessary. I'm just showing you guys the screen and I wanna show you my settings as I'm taking these photos. And then for the lens, this is a pretty, a pretty fast, a 2.8 RF 15 to 35 Canon lens, which is fantastic for astrophotography and the Milky Way. I also have a 28 to 70 F2 that I might interchange in because it's a little bit faster, so I'll be able to capture even more information. Let's talk about time-lapse settings and camera settings. You could do a time lapse with the R8 and many other Canon cameras, either with photo or video mode, but I'm gonna be using photo mode so that I have a little bit more control over my entire result. But to do a photo time lapse, I would go into my menu and then I would go to interval timer. I'm gonna go ahead and enable that. And now this is one of the most important parts of time lapses is choosing your interval. There are multiple online calculators, but PhotoPills is a good tool for inputting the length of time you'll be shooting, which you can also determine by seeing how much of the Milky Way you want to cross the sky over the course of your time lapse. And you can view that in the augmented reality tab of the app as well. And once you have that time frame, you can input that plus the length of your final result video and frames per second, and then it'll give you a suggestion on shooting interval. Keep in mind you can always speed up a time lapse if you have too many images, but you can't really slow it down without having those extra frames. So it's sometimes safer to go with a shorter interval. For exposure settings, I covered this in depth in our last video, photographing the Milky Way, but here's a general idea of the settings I've chosen for this scene. Well, I think that's enough talking. I am ready to get a pretty sweet time lapse here. Got a lot of waiting to do and I'm about to pull out some snacks, maybe some Cheez-Its, we'll see, and uh, let's see what we get. I'm really happy with how it came out and I'm happy that you guys joined me for this journey. I'm telling you, get out there and photograph the night sky and add some motion with these time lapses. You won't regret it. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about what we covered or any of the settings, things like that, even the gear or the R8, drop those in the comments down below. My name is Matt and thanks for watching.